Six months ago, we set out to transform a Mercedes Sprinter into our very own Golf Tour Bus, which you will have seen in some of the recent videos. And we thought you might like to see how we transform this into this. Oh, and a word of warning, there is no golf featured in this video. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode. We're currently back at Jackson Leisure Supplies to pick up some really exciting bits. Um, this week's gonna be an exciting one as ever. We've got a lot going on and we'll show you what we're picking up in a second. So fast forward 24 hours and I'm back on my way to Jackson's Leisure Supplies again because what we bought yesterday was our hob and it was lovely but we got it back and it just didn't work in our kitchen at all so i'm taking it back and we're swapping it for another one which we think should be perfect but we'll see when we get it back right today is or will be a really exciting day we've been waiting for this for weeks but it's also a really nervous one because we've got worktops to install kitchen hob to install sink to install and what that means is we're doing a lot of cutting and we don't really know what we're doing so uh, i was going to give you a quick blimp at the hob but we'll keep that till later so it's a case of we've taken over the house again in terms of it's a bit of a mess hannah how are we getting on great excited excited but yeah, we've got youtube's on as ever for some guidance we've got a table full of bits and pieces which have no idea what to do with so we're a little bit nervous so i think we'll start off by putting a kettle on and uh, we'll have a bit of a think before we get started and of course just as i get all the tools out workbench out it starts raining so first of all why are we nervous about cutting worktop because it's not a massive big deal but the worktop is a bit different than normal what we've gone for is this stuff which is if i can't peel that back now let's get a bit closer so it's like, if you can see the thickness of it, it's just 12 mil thick. I think it's called compact laminate. It's probably in terms of weight wise, exactly the same as sort of normal, um, you sort of regular type of work top, but it's ultra thin. It looks really cool, there's a great finish on it. It's like a light gray finish, but this compact laminate, it kind of, I'm worried that it's gonna chip fairly easy. So whilst cutting it is not a big deal, to countersink the hob, We've got to drill some holes and that's where we're going to start. I'm worried it suggests that you've got to be careful of cracking when you drill holes in the worktop. So what I'm going to do is got a little bit of an off cut of a sample we got. So then we'll start there by drilling a hole and seeing A, what drill bit we need to go through this kind of stuff and B, if it does crack or any impact that it has before we go into this sort of main three meter length, which is what's taking over the hallway again right now. So we're just about to drill into our little, what do you call it? It's our sample that we have. Little sample, just to see if this works before. That's the, that is the kind of fixing um, bolt. It's not a bolt, is it? What is it? I don't know what it is. But that's what we've got to thread through here. Fix a knot on the other end, secure the, um, the hob in place. But this is the bit I'm worried about. I just put a regular steel bit on this, by the way. That was easy. Fine. All the panic over. Wow. That's the right size as well. So obviously, Perfect. hob will sit on the top, and then we've got two brackets that are attached this to the hob on the top, and then underneath will be a little nut that we tighten. So it's just dead easy. There's a whole lot of panic over nothing now. No. Jeez. That's fine. Perfect. Right, we've cut our first piece of work off. It's, it was okay to cut, it was just slow. It took a long while. We had to cut it in terms of the width and in um, the length and in terms of the width. So it took, took a while. This is our hob, which we're really pleased with. Huh? So nice, love it. Like that, don't we? Yeah. Show you the, the sink later on today, hopefully, if it goes to plan. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna sit in there. So the idea is to make use of that kind of dead corner space. That's why we've gone for these three uh, burners. 
So what we've got to do is we've got to obviously count this in, cut a hole in that. I suppose that's quite self-explanatory. And they give you, it's a Thetford hob by the way, don't drop it in. They give you this template. Another template. Another template. But it's good though, isn't it? Yeah. To be fair. So we're going to have to cut that out. We'll put that into position. And they were the four drill holes that I was referring to, which I'm fairly comfortable with now. <coughs> I think I'll drill them first uh, before we do the cutting. And then hopefully, what I'm, all, all I'm worried about is when we cut around these edges where the drill holes, as, uh, where we've drilled the hole, that it is in a kind of weakness and it cracks because at that point, the whole bloody thing is just, <laughs> I know, yeah, all the work that's gone into this so far in terms of the work top will be wasted. But that's the next thing. I'm going to cut that out with the pair of scissors, lay it in situ where we think it is, and then it's time to drill some holes. You know what, there's a point at which I think I don't breathe for the whole length of the cut so when it comes to the longer cut I could pass out. That's it. No going back. It's gone. The good news is I haven't collapsed. Fainted. Passed out. I didn't like that. Out of interest, I went through three jigsaw blades. I'm just using a metal blade. I don't know what the proper blade is to cut. I think you're supposed to add a little bit of linseed oil just to uh, lubricate it a little bit. But I went through three blades and uh, it did take quite some time just to cut that square out. And obviously we've got one more to go to counter, counter sink the sink. Um, and the drill bit again was just a steel drill bit. I don't know whether I mentioned that earlier on, but we're out. We've cut the hole. I'm gonna put it back in now and hope to God it fits. Me and Pen are leaving my dad to cut the work top and we're going to pick up our sink because we've just had a text to say it's been delivered to work. So we're going to go and pick that up, bring it back and then hopefully both can get fitted today. You can fit in there. Yeah. Is the Thetford Argent Bowl in black because we thought it would look nice with our black hob uh, but Jackson's where we've been getting all our other bits from they actually didn't have this in stock till I think it was mid-September uh, sorry about the noise um, but we managed to find it on eBay I don't know if anyone else is the same but I get a bit nervous about buying things on eBay um, but it come with it seems like it's come with all the right bits needed to fit it all the instructions we've got another template which is great uh, to help us cut out the work top but yeah seems seems good so that's my dad cutting the work top now for the heart so I'm sure he'll be delighted to know that we have another template to help us fit the thing. Okay the work top's cut and now time to see if the hob fits. We have to do this with the camera? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Perfect. Not, not yet, no. Okay, so take two. I'm not convinced this is going to be any better, to be honest. 
So two are in, which is good news. So basically what we've done wrong, well, what we've done wrong, if you remember that sort of threaded bar, I measured the drill bit in terms of the size of the threaded bar, whereas this bit that actually sits inside here, where the threaded bar screws into, was wider, hence it wouldn't fit. So we took it off, re-drilled the holes with a bigger hole. These two are sitting in nice, it's really flush, which is good, but these two just aren't going in, so we'll have to work out why. So we've jiggled it around a bit and it somehow managed to fit in. It's just literally getting it perfectly square mm. for each of the four to fit in, but it is literally solid. Each of the four are in. Oh my word, this fan build is supposed to be like an enjoyable thing. It's uh, stressing Stress. me to death. But well, that is perfect. Finally. No, it is. It's really good, then. It sits really tight. There's a rubber seal underneath here, um, which when we tighten the, the bits underneath together, that'll sort of press down and keep it all kind of watertight. Right, so with the hob in, it's now down to the uh, the sink, which uh, the sink template, it's again a Thetford sink. Uh, these two things match um, in terms of the set. And it comes with the same template again. Slightly more awkward this one, and we have a slight issue in that uh, the way the sink is set up, there are three holes within the top of the basin. You drill through those three holes, two at the side, one at the back, and you drill into your worktop. And again, that's an issue. You cannot drill into this, screw into this worktop. So where I said I think you can't drill into it, you can do that, but by putting a drill, a screw rather, into the worktop i think that's where the cracking occurs so we're gonna to have to find a different way i think simply it's just gonna to have to be glued and set onto the worktop once we've finished then we'll find a way of filling the three holes with the caps that are provided but the template itself even was just there's nothing sort of square it's all uh, round so you're uh, it's a little bit more awkward to set in place but i've got it there marked it all up it's again down to the jigsaw and see if it can uh, if we've got enough blades to get through this uh, this final cut. So I've just taken a quick break to get some lunch. But I went to London this last weekend and all I ate down there was smoked salmon and it's changed me and I'm obsessed with it. So when I went and done my weekly shop yesterday, I seen this and I thought, I'm gonna have to get it. So for lunch, we're having bagels with smoked salmon and eggs. And I don't know how I think I am. Honestly, smoked salmon for lunch. <laughs> from cutting the worktops and we've come back to being q because we've decided that we want to get a few more bits uh, to put into the kitchen before we actually start fitting the worktops so we're going to get the doors what shelves we want uh, a few other little bits and pieces and make sure that what we think is going to work works, works basically and before so we start sticking the worktops down work top so down, fixing yeah. everything per and we also need some jigsaw blades because we've burnt out three already yeah. before we do the rest of the cuts. But this wasn't part of the plan though, was it, I don't think? No, it never is. An unplanned trip. Mm -hmm. So we're back from our little trip out and this is a second unboxing of the day. Not as exciting as the sink, but still pretty exciting. And all these little bits, I'll show you what else we bought as well. I get really excited over the, the stupid little bits like this dish draining thing but yeah. what do you think we got one that folds down so it's easy to store away but a week ago we didn't even consider how we would drain any dishes that should be perfect that's cool. Lovely. Will it fit? Oh, oh look at that. Perfect. That is perfect. Perfect. We've also got. I haven't put any doors on yet, but we've got. Oh, yeah. Go oh, here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, I told you. Perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Our kitchen setup is starting to come together, isn't it? Pretty good. It's 
So how's that looking? Stunning. Well, I'm not asking you, I'm asking the... <laughs> no, That's cool that though, isn't it? Yeah. Our little wash and draining area. And then we've got a uh, tap, which will go, hopefully we're going to fit that somewhere in there, or possibly, better look when I'm filming, possibly there. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. Either or. It's been, a, it's been an exciting day, hasn't it? It has. It's been exciting. Yeah. Right, we have fitted our very first soft closing cupboard door. It's really soft and I don't think, Hannah's just tested this, is it going to rattle or not when we drive? We'll find out when we move, but at the moment it seems fairly secure. I'm sure there's ways of like softening that a little bit, but they seem tight. We've got no handles on them. We've got these where they've just got a little groove and that's just again, just to um, make things a little bit seamless and sort of catching on uh, your trousers or catching your leg or whatever when you're walking around the van, which I think is quite a uh, good idea. Hands over there, are you getting on that? Cabinet maker. <laughs> 